Welcome back to the Eastern Odyssey Tournament Expert Division. Opening round, hole number 10. This is a Zerk blasted shot across the gap. APOC 5 plus. Uh, caveat to this shot is it is ascendant shot. It is can carry some risk with it. You may end up in the rough. You may end up in the sand. And there's a small chance that you end up in the water. Most of the time, you're either going to be bunker, rough, or fairway right next to or on the green. Uh, so you still have a good chance at dropping the eagle with a short uh, either rough iron or sand iron shot, depending on you know where you're at. So at P5 max rest, what we're going to do is use the rough on the right as our guide. APOC 5 and 6 will have two-thirds of the white ring into the right rough. APOC 7 is one-third of the white ring in the right rough. APOC 8 is white ring touching the right rough. That's all at P5 max rest. We're going to use top spin as needed per wind strength. We're always using two right spin. So if your wind is 9.4 to 9.9, 5.8 top, 10.0 to 10.4, 5.6 top, 10.5 to 10.9 is 5.4 top. 11 to 11.4 is 5.2 top, and 11.5 to 11.9 will use 5 top spin. Always 2 right spin. Uh, the only other tweak that is needed is minor curl, depending on which wind angle you have. Because we're kind of uh, at a mid-point wind angle here, Sometimes you'll have straight tailwind. Sometimes you'll have left to right. Sometimes you have right to left. So what we're looking at is the gap that we're shooting through, right? These two trees. Now, obviously, I'm zoomed in for the shot here, but it's the same principle. If your, say this is your bullseye, if your center line is running close to the tree on the right, that's left to right tailwind, you need a quarter ball of left curl. If your center line is going right up the middle of the gap, you don't need any curl. And then if your center line is going up towards the tree on the left, then that is right to left tailwind and you need a quarter ball of right curl. So left curl, no curl, right curl. That's a quarter ball. And so one other thing that you can do if you're actually using a Zerk, uh, quick and easy reference for this is if you need the left curl and center line splitting the R, if you don't need any curl, then you want the center line splitting the E in the middle. If you need right curl, then have your center line splitting the B in Berserker. And that gives you three good references for your curl. If you're not using a Zerk, you can also use the left and right side of the ball. They're going to be, uh, you know, roughly in line with this um, shot circle, the, the left or right side of the shot circle. So when the shot circle comes down, when your ball comes over, you want your right the side of your ball to meet the shot circle. Right? That makes sense. So the, the side of the ball touches the side of the shot circle at full OP. Or use the letters as a reference. Um, there is no adjustment. If you want to try and get uh, more consistent results, you're going to need to play around with the top spin and the curl. Uh, the safest route is to play it with a little more curl and have the second bounce land right of the little pad. Generally speaking, you got more room over there and you can clip the rough, roll out and roll out onto the fairway, leave yourself a short inbringer shot for the eagle. The more risky uh, shot straight at the hole is going to play just left of the pad and long and you kind of got to hit the sand rough line above the pad 
and that carries with it a lot more risk because you have to use a lot more top spin and if you don't hit the sign you know and you catch the pad you could fly the green into the water on the other side so just be careful this one is kind of set up to be safe and you can get as cute with it as you like just spend a little bit of practice with it tweak your spins and your curls just a little bit and who knows you might be able to even walk away from this one with the amazing hole in one but hopefully worst case easy birdie best case easy eagle and i hope you all get the drop we'll see you on the next one oh by the way if you're in the rough or the bunker you can play the sand or rough iron shots using p5 minus 35 percent at slider playing the eb rule and that is with your sand or rough irons so you play just like the in ringer rule except you use minus 35 and you do it with your sand or rough iron.